Hey guys, today I want to show you my top 5 favorite apps that you might have not heard about. And I actually had to re-record this video because two of the apps got updated and I really want to show you those updates. So first we have Dailyo, which is a diary app. So the first update is that now you can use your fingerprint um, sensor to unlock your app instead of entering the pin. So we'll just enter that. And this is the home screen. And to enter in an entry, you would put today and then how you felt which was good and then just enter in like all that you did let's say relax recording editing travel work all that kind of stuff and then you just write whatever you want right here and you click enter so since I already had the two um, entered in I'm just going to delete this one and so the next we have is stats and I've been writing in this diary for 299 days straight. And then this is also your monthly mood chart to track how you felt throughout the month. And then you can select an activity that you've done, let's say shopping. So I went shopping on those five days. And then there's also a mood count to see how many days were rad, good, meh, ugly, or awful. And then you have an activity count to see how much of what you did over this whole month. And then average daily mood and when you feel the best. And also, what's often together. So when you're rad, you're off, you're going to be doing this. But then let's say, if you're reading, you're usually feeling good in this case. And this is just my longest, best day streak. The next we have is the calendar. And so this is how it felt this month. And then also the numbers down here. Next we have the app Filmora Go. And so first, you'll, what you'll do is pick a video, you'll click Add, and then Next. And then it'll bring you to this. And then on the side here, there are themes that you can choose, music, just click, click Add, and then whatever you want. And then you have Transitions, and then they have all these. And then there's also ratio and crop. And then edit tools. This is just what I use the most besides the transitions. So obviously this one is trimming it. So if you remember this video, you'll recognize some things. And then crop. I don't really use this subtitle. Just like that. Philly and New York one. So let's just say I'll just write Philly. So you choose the font, the color, just the whole array. Let's just use just the pink color. And then you can just move it however long you want it to be, where it will go, and then what kind of transition or entrance thing you want for it. Oh, wait, let's go back. And this is a new, this was a new update, and you can actually add a photo onto your video, I won't show that. And then also, also another really great update was this voiceover, because now I can use this to edit my videos. And then audio mixer for the video, music, and voiceover. And then there's also filters, overlays, and elements that I don't really use, but I'll just go ahead and click them. Or actually I use black and white filter for my music covers. And like I always think these are cool but I don't really have a time to use them. And then titles, these are just preset ones so I just use subtitles better because they're more customizable than these. And then speed, I use this for my time lapses. And then rotate, I don't usually need to rotate my videos. And just adjustments. And then duplicate is duplicating the video. And obviously deleting it is deleting it. So next I have video show. And so I pulled up the same video. And what I usually do is just use edit so clip edit I can either trim it 
zoom, rotate, copy, speed, use for time lapses, and this is great because I can take the audio out here, and then reverse if needed. And then also, like Filmora Go, I use the subtitle, so we'll just do this again, Philly. However big you want. The settings of them, these are presets. You can change the color, and then the font. And then how long you want it and where. Also what I use is multi-music, and this is great for when I have one song for my actual video and then one song for my end card like this. And then I also just use transition. I usually use non or fade. And obviously I use voiceover for most of my videos. Now my fourth favorite app is an app called My Homework. And this is like a planner for your phone I would say. And so You'll add your homework at the top right. Homework description. Let's just say video. And then pick a class. Let's just say Spanish. And what type? This would be a project. And so what you can do is I got these classes because I added them myself, which I'll show you later. And then I also inputted um, the time because that's when I set the time for the class, and then the due date is automatically set to the next day. And then that's where you would have completed your assignment. And so this is the classes, priority, and type. And so you can see my classes that I've added. I chose the color and put in the time and named them. And also calendar. So, I mostly used this when I was in 10th grade, and then I just stopped using it during junior year for the beginning, but then I realized that I actually needed it, so, yeah. Okay, so this date. So you can see all the things that were due on that date. There's those ones. And then also... Apparently this app may, might connect with your school, it depends if your school uses it, but my school doesn't, so this doesn't really apply to me. All these here, yeah. So, and then also this is all my completed assignments. There was a lot. So my final favorite app is Pixlr, hope I'm saying that right, and this is just a photo editing app. So I pulled up this picture, and there are... As you can see, many options. Let's just say crop, and then all these different ratios. Let's just say that. You can brighten and darken. Change intensity, so size. Just brightening it. And then pixelate doodle. And then all these different effects. And then there's also overlays, which I want to show you, which are, because they're pretty cool. It's like this. And finally, they're stylized, so just these kinds. And then you have frames and borders, something like that. And then stickers. So you just click on them, make them smaller or bigger, make them less transparent. And then you have text, so I'll just say sunset here. Again, making it bigger with your, with pinching it. And then these are just what I have as my favorite fonts. And there's also many other options. You can just go through, install. Here's the color. And then centering it if you have more than one line. And then when you are finished, you click done, save image, and then you have these options. 
I usually just go with Max because high quality. <laughs> and so that's that. And those were my five favorite apps you might know of. I hope that you possibly might install one of these and try them out. So thanks for watching.